Soko, and thank you for coming back to my channel. I am so excited because I wanted to introduce to you a really something that's really close to my heart, and that is scholarships that you can use to study in Korea or anywhere, really. Um, as you guys know, as I said in my last video, maybe the BH Cosmetics one. I said that I had studied abroad, but I'm from a poor socioeconomic background and I used a lot of scholarships to come to Korea the first time. And I really wanted to share those with you because when I was looking for products, I didn't have any, I didn't see that many and it took me a lot of work to get to those scholarships and find them. So I wanted to present those to you guys while I get ready and put on my makeup. Okay, so if that's something that interests you, keep watching. So I already washed my face today, so I'm just going to go in with my primer. The first scholarship I want to introduce to you guys is called the Gilman Scholarship. The Gilman Scholarship is for uh, underprivileged youth, first gen, people who haven't been, well, maybe not just people who haven't been abroad before, but... They really are here to encourage you to go abroad and live your best life, especially if you're from a first gen or low socioeconomic background. Um, I am both first gen and have a low socioeconomic background, meaning my mom didn't, neither my mom or dad graduated from college. One other thing that's really good about Gilman is they have like a language study grant. So if you learn if you go to school to learn like a um i forgot the kind of language but it's a language that not many people speak if you go to learn one of those languages then you can get another like additional grant and also it makes it more likely for you to learn that language on this list is korean as uh, well as i think arabic and a few other non well-spoken languages because we still want to keep those languages alive and we a lot of people still speak them we still need those like translation and just have people interested in the culture so Gilman is really trying to do a lot of work and send people abroad the scholarship amount that I received from them was three grand and my program was I think five so that was a big amount of money to it took out of my my balance <laughs> Uh, the next, the next scholarship that I want to introduce, uh, that I want to show you guys introduce. If you guys live in Korea, you know, this is a way Koreans speak this. Let me introduce this to you. Let me show you this to you. Okay. Uh, what, the next one I want to tell you guys about is the Freeman Asia scholarship. It is a scholarship literally dedicated to studying abroad in Asia. Today I'm going to use my Mulan ColourPop palette. I just really like this one. So yeah, that is dedicated to studying abroad in Asia. Uh, so I didn't actually didn't know, uh, actually didn't know what I wanted to, where I wanted to study when I decided to study abroad. My whole goal was just to simply study abroad. So I literally just went in and tried to see where would be the best places and then I came across the scholarship. It also gave me three grand, I think, and that pretty much covered the rest of my program fees. I did a summer in Seoul at Yonsei University. So that one was really nice and I really was very appreciative of it. I pro tip. A lot of the scholarship questions are going to be the same on a lot of your abroad study abroad scholarship things. If you don't already know to do this, generally, make it's a very good idea to just tweak your personal statements and the scholarship questions to those specific questions. Get that one that's been edited like four or five times by your professors or family members or whoever you trust to edit your personal statements and questions and such and let the and then just tweak it for each little change in question because the questions are so 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 very similar like i said that scholarship is for you to go anywhere in asia so like really you should got it should really just like check it out oh that's really creamy and really nice the next one is the program CIEE has many many scholarships for people to study abroad they have some for like everyone they have like academic scholarships that so like if you are 
if you have the GPA, you can definitely take it. They have some for lower income people. So if you're if you have the GPA and you're lower income, you can get it. They have literally kind of scholarships for anything. Actually, I didn't even apply for the CIEE scholarship. CIEE gave me the scholarship. They said, you know what? You reach all these qualifications. You look like you're doing a lot of good work. Here, have a travel scholarship. We will cover your round trip flight up to two grand. And that was just a, such a blessing. Like, guys, you have no idea. Like, I was like freaking out about how I was gonna pay for this plane ticket, but I was determined to go to Korea. I was determined to leave America, period. Um, and I was just like, oh my gosh, yes. Yes, that is a thing. So CIEE is definitely a great tool for studying and the, the value that you get for the amount you pay is unmatched. Like I was in a school program with CIEE. I was at, like I said, I was at Yonsei University. We had so many things that was that were offered through the program. So many cultural activities. We were able to volunteer. I struggled to volunteer like living in Korea. But we were they took us to volunteer. They took us to cultural things. I got to make I got to make tofu from scratch. It was delicious. I got to sleep in a traditional like a very very traditional Korean house, not like the newer houses. It was so worth it. And my friends, I had friends of course that I made cuz it wasn't just like an individualized program you were really a student there you really got your transcript you really got grades and the friends who weren't a part of CIEE had paid the same amount they paid the same amount and they weren't doing any of that they were like so jealous cuz I'd be like oh sorry guys um, I'm going to do a cultural trip with my program and they'll be like what you're doing a cultural trip with your program or oh you did that this weekend like I had people asking me like how much it costs and I would tell them and they were like wow we paid the same amount and you got way more totally check out CIEE it's more than just Korea you can go Spain you can go Portugal you can go Europe a lot of places in Asia it was a program that changed my life for sure so yes I will with 10 out of 10 recommend it uh now that I've like uh I guess talked about CIEE an incredible amount the next one I want to talk about is the really big one okay the really big one so I think the biggest uh, scholarship the like least known but probably most amazing scholarship is the Korean Global Scholarship so a lot of you probably actually know about this one if you don't it is a full ride a full complete ride like this is the study abroad above all study abroad it is everything and when i say everything i mean everything this scholarship covers everything from your flight home from home to the school this flight cover uh, this scholarship covers your matriculation for four years if you're doing undergraduate or the two years if you do masters or graduate school this covers everything everything this is not to be played with okay this is the the one I've gone for like a, a fine of phoenix look I don't know if you guys can see it I'm gonna clean it up a little bit but back to what I was talking about yes the this scholarship is the piece that is your stones it covers the flight it covers your matriculation in school it covers uh, it gives you a, an allowance uh, the if you want to study abroad in Korea specifically it covers your language classes that you have to take what else does it it gives you insurance it's literally the whole shebang it's the whole shebang what do you need for this scholarship what because obviously it's amazing right so what do you need to get it and what are the qualifications well 
you need there are two ways to get this scholarship there are two ways and it you can do it via your embassy or you can do it uh, by applying directly to the schools themselves there are a list of schools on the website it is the study go study korea website i think i will link that i will put all the links to these scholarships down below there is a list online you need two letters of recommendation if you're going for the undergraduate program you need to have matriculated for years you both your parents need to be from your uh not from korea this is specifically for foreigners to study in korea so both your parents need to be not from korea and i think you need to have like someone who can like sponsor you and by sponsor means they have to have a certain amount of money in your bank account in their bank account someone the website says that people from underprivileged backgrounds will be considered uh, will be more considered but it's open to everyone it is open to everyone you need to have an 80 percent uh of, out of your grade scale so an 80 percent of a 4.0 scale is like a 3.2 so like a b average which isn't hard you know so and they give you a stipend i think for i can't remember what it is for undergraduate because that's not the one i was looking at uh it's but it's 900 for graduate school as a living expense so a pretty all-inclusive scholarship that is again the korea global scholars scholarship it is the scholarship of all scholarships as far as studying in korea it is a full ride to a korean university okay there there are other scholarships as well to specifically study abroad in korea and you can find these uh, you can find these at the website i'm going to put in the description box below because i can't say the name right go study korea i think it's go study korea i'm pretty sure it's go study korea i think so but because I'm not 100% sure, I'm gonna go look at it and post the link. <laughs> so, my goal with this page was to be helpful, and I didn't want it to be like super, I just wanted to be helpful. I, I've traveled a good bit and I've done a lot, and I just wanted to help where I didn't get a whole lot of help, you know? I didn't have a whole lot of help. I didn't know a lot of things that were going on. I didn't even know my school had an international study office. I didn't know my school had an international study office until I applied. I was in the second round of Gilman and they call your international coordinator and they're like, and my international coordinator was like, hello, Miss Brooks. And I was like, what, <laughs> who are you? And how do you know who I am? Cause the uh, Gilman, gets in contact with your coordinator so you should really uh create a relationship with your study abroad coordinator because they more than anyone more than me more than anyone will know about the scholarships before you do so actually my coordinator was super helpful she was a nice black lady and who i would have never met because they had her in this part of the university that was so far away uh so far not from the away from the main campus it was wild so when i had to like literally go search for her because i had to talk you had i had to search for my i had to blah, 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 i had to talk to her and she would be responsible for helping me report my project to the scholarship committee ah so yes that part for gilman you need to do a project after your matriculation or after your semester uh, just it's actually not that bad it wasn't that bad it's just a project to show like what you learned it's uh how studying abroad benefits you how you will impact your community from studying abroad and things like that so my project was to teach other people about studying abroad so i did a presentation i uh had i had a like conference type deal at my university and i basically presented 
my study abroad experience and I just presented the scholarships that I used and it was really fun it was really nice and I got to get more I went to an HBCU Alabama State University in this house it got to it got to show more people like what study abroad is about like and not to be afraid especially black people we are so afraid of the unknown My cheeks are a little shiny we are so afraid of the unknown and so i just thought like if we if we saw one of our own out there doing that then it would encourage more people to go and do that and that's what it did so i'm almost finished with this look i'm going i'm going in with the color pop good luck charm color so yes just there are so many resources out there and sometimes you're gonna have to take a little while to dig and find them but don't give up guys there is so much to be done there is so much you can do and there's so much of the world to see and there's so much we don't know like going to korea really changed my life so i'm gonna wing this and try my best to do this well I kind of want the I've been seeing like this cat eye look where it comes all the way down to the inner corner so I'm gonna try to do that. That movie was not that great well no, let's be honest it wasn't good but still the makeup it gave us you can appreciate so i did the other one off camera and it was a travesty but okay i think i should fix this one no no you know what i no let's let's not touch it I, we've learned lessons okay we've learned lessons So I'm, I just made this video in the hopes that somebody is will find some information that they can find helpful. Please let me know if you like this video. I'm gonna use the Let It Glow palette for my highlight. So to recap, that it was the Gilman Scholarship. It is for underprivileged and financially socioeconomically disadvantaged people as well as the um, Freeman Asian scholarship Freeman Asia I don't know why I keep saying Asian I even said it on my TikTok Oof, it was, um, as well as the CIEE scholarships they have a few that are academic need based etc and I think when you apply to those programs for CIEE you get automatically entered so that's also a big plus and you don't have to so you don't have to worry about the whole extra part of do i need to do an extra uh personal statement do i need extra letters of recommendation that's already a given they're already gonna do all that for you i am almost done with this look so uh let's see how it turns out I'm just gonna really boom you know, throw some, add some eyelash, uh, uh, eyelash, eye brow to round out the look. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz kit that I got via Sephora, via membership points. I'm gonna go put some lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, so after a intense struggle with my lashes i'm back to recap in conclusion 
don't let anything oh now my camera's acting up don't let anything stop you from following your dreams and my dreams were to get these lashes on so if i can get these lashes on you can study your bra i know that's a weird connection but trust me no one well uh, probably a lot of people struggle with lashes as much as i do but you can get them on and you can study your bra so thank you for watching this video if you like and want more content like this please comment down below don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you guys think see you next time bye